Oh my god, it has been too long. I think the last time I uploaded a YouTube video was probably right around five to six months ago. I am so sorry for that, guys. I don't really have a very good excuse uh, for you. I tried filming a lot of videos on the old camera and it just really wasn't cutting it. So this is a new camera and this is strictly for filming YouTube videos. So from here on out, anytime I do anything on the truck will be filmed with this camera and I'm hoping that it brings it into a lot better of a quality. Maybe you don't hear the autofocus as much. Maybe the autofocus on this camera is 10 times better than the Nikon. Uh, so with that said, my old Nikon camera will be strictly for taking pictures and this one will be strictly for taking YouTube videos. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, today, I want to try and keep this as short as I can, but today I don't really have anything to do on the truck. I just thought I'd take today and kind of give you guys an update on what you guys have missed because there has been a lot of stuff that has happened in the last six months and I did not film almost like 90% of it. Oh God, <laughs> it's been too long. It's been way too long. Uh, okay, so there's the truck behind me. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so right off the bat, you can probably see that um, it looks way different from the last time you saw it. I'm just gonna kind of move from the front to the back and then we'll head on into the interior and then we'll be done. So first off, we got rid of the spray painted hood. It really wasn't matching the rest of the truck. So I went with these kind of IROC Z Camaro vents. Uh, these were made by Hot Gate Garage. I'll leave a link to their shop down in the description. Uh, moving on, gold wheels. They used to be gunmetal gray. Now they're kind of like a bright gold metallic. The livery here was done by Kaufi Art. He designed it and then I had another guy print it. We installed it ourselves. Probably the hardest thing I've ever done to this truck. I added the gold hearts myself just to kind of add a little bit of extra depth to the uh, to the truck. This is uh, Onodora from Nisekoi and then Chitogi's on Chitoge is on the other side. I'll show you guys her, her here in a minute. Uh, moving on, we put some gold window tint on the truck. Um, you cannot see through it. It's very illegal. I drive, whenever I drive, I always drive with the windows down. We did a rear disc uh, conversion on the truck with a dual caliper setup. We uh, these are actually brakes from the front of the same vehicle. So the pads for this truck are technically the same. They're just the front pads, and then the rotors are actually off of a late '90s Impala. Boston. I don't know if you remember him. He's the uh, He's the owner of the Slippery Catfish. Um, you guys will be seeing probably more of him a lot in the future. But he welded and bent this bash bar for me. It turned out absolutely amazing. Again, painted it gold to match the wheels and kind of the whole theme of the of the uh, of the truck here. Really, really great. Really high quality. Makes jacking up the truck a hell of a lot easier. Uh, let's see. There's a uh, Chitoge. Again, designed by Kaufi Art. Did an amazing job. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I didn't show this on the other side, but we riveted on these cab corners to kind of make it look a little bit better. There's still rust underneath, but we kind of did our best with grinding it and getting all the rust out and then putting like a, a rust barrier uh, behind it. We also did a uh, black RTV to kind of keep some of the water out. I think it turned out pretty well. Well, for what this truck is being used for, you know, who cares? It's a drift truck. So moving on to the interior, uh, not a whole lot has changed. Basically the only thing that's really changed is we added the ASD Motorsports hydraulic e-brake. Turned out really well. Boston again welded up this amazing bracket for me. It was sitting way too low and I think this is way more comfortable. NRG seat, I've had this laying around for quite a while but never had a real way of installing it until Atomic Fab Performance cut and welded these brackets for me. He does an amazing job. I'll leave a link to his shop in the description as well. Even got this awesome engraving done. Glow shift gauge for the oil pressure because when we were doing the manual swap, Dan actually managed to hit the old oil pressure sensor and it was, was just, just broken and we couldn't figure out why. Uh, until I got in there and realized that the sensor was broken. So no big deal. I thought, you know, I'm, I'm already in there. Might as well upgrade it. So we got this glow shift gauge for the oil pressure in here. It looks really good. I love the way it turned out. I love that when you turn it off, you can't see anything. And then when you turn it on, that's when you can finally see all the numbers and the gauge and the needle. So that turned out really well. And I think that's really about it. Oh man. Moving on. 
trying not to push this as much as possible. Uh, future plans. I bought a new truck. The reason for that is basically this truck has almost 300,000 miles on it. The old frame is really showing its age. We found a couple holes in it and it's not gonna last. So there's no point in spending the absurd amount of money on the coilover swap, the cage and everything like that. It just, it just really wouldn't be worth it. So I bought a new truck. I'll show you guys that as soon as I can, whenever I can find the time to get out there. It's over at Dan's house. He's gonna be doing basically the cage and the coilover swap whenever I find the money for that. Okay, moving on. Once all of the hard stuff is done on that, basically what we'll do is we'll basically take everything on this truck or mostly everything on this truck, swap it over to the new truck and repaint it, put a new livery on it. I don't know if I'll keep the same one as, as I do on here. I might, or I might go with something completely different. <laughs> I really didn't want to talk about this. Um, I did not film my first drift event. I actually drifted this truck and I did okay. Uh, you know about as good as you can expect for someone's first time and I didn't film any of it My only excuse for that is that we were running on literally zero sleep zero sleep at all And we had to load this truck up on a trailer drive all the way out to Topeka Which from where the trailer was was about a solid hour and a half drive Unload the, to unload the truck get it all ready for spec get there at the driver's meeting at like 8 a.m And then go hot at like 9 So I was literally running on zero sleep trying to get everything ready getting the truck done Ready everything torqued down everything finished that didn't need to be finished and just didn't have any time for filming Sadly, you guys didn't get to see that and I, I, I kick myself every day for it next drift event is Next week actually next weekend the 24th of August at Heartland Park Topeka I will not be drifting, sadly, because right after the drift event, we went streeting a couple of times and the welds on the diff broke. I know, I know, I know you're going to say it. Oh, you shouldn't have welded your diff. Uh, yeah, whatever. The way we welded it, the carrier could not be removed, so I had to replace the entire rear end. Because of that, the diff that's in the truck right now is still open. It's not locked. That is why I am not drifting at the next drift event. But I will still be there. I will still be taking photos. I will bring you guys along and I'll give you guys the full tour. We'll get tons of ride alongs. It'll be, it'll be awesome. You guys will love the content. Lots of amazing cars that come out here. Lots of amazing drivers as well. I cannot wait to show you guys that. And then after that, I really don't know. So maybe put the new locker in the truck, stiffen up the springs. I have a few ideas for that and basically we'll just go from there. I know I talked like this entire video and I know a lot of you guys don't like me talking through a lot of the videos. There's not a lot of action in this one, but this is just kind of like a apology and a promise that from here on out, I will be doing a lot better. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you guys on the next one.